Hey, what up everyone? I'm Cool, and this is Elden Ring. And today I'm going to be going over how to cheese the Fire Giant. The Fire Giant is a mandatory boss that you have to fight to get to the end of the game in Elden Ring. And you might have a lot of trouble with him depending on your build. Um, he was one-shotting me, so there was nothing I could do. If I got hit one time, I was dead, so I had to figure out a way to cheese him. And if you've been following along, watching along uh, with me, um, I'm like the king of cheese. I like to find ways to cheese bosses. I've done... There was this night I did in one of those blue circles. I did the Red Wolf or Radagon. They, um... And they patched both of them. So, I don't know. I, I'm doubting they're seeing my videos. But, uh, they patched both of them. So, you know, they might patch this one too. But do it while you can. So, first thing you want to do is run in here and bait his little avalanche move. And you're just going to run away from it keep your distance and then bait his big toilet seat slam <clears throat> after you bait that you're going to run around him up to the top of the arena near the fog up here go to the very tippy top where you would want to go if there was no boss fog if you were trying to light light up the tree um this is where you would go go up into the top top right corner like near the cliff edge ride your horsey up here make sure you have the jellyfish equipped as your summon jellyfish as your summon hopefully you have it uh leveled up and everything with the uh, spirit tuner i'm not sure if that matters or not it might just take longer if you don't have it leveled up it might just not survive as long if you don't have it leveled up but the jellyfish is is integral to this strat that i'm gonna do here so yeah you definitely need the jellyfish or you can't do this and by all means if you're a bleed build that can chug a lug uh, estus every time you get hit and uh, just beat him that way make sure you just hit his leg knock him down do it like that but this the way i had to do it because i'm sorcery build i'm astrologer all in i die in one hit is I had to do it like this. I had to cheese it. It took me a bunch of <laughs> tries, but yeah. Bait him up on this cliff edge is what you're going to do. So I'm getting him to walk towards that cliff edge. It's like the only cliff edge on in the arena that is not like instant death if you fall off of it, right? So it's that one right there. You know what I'm talking about. That cliff edge we're looking at right now is what you want to bait him towards. You do not pull out your summon yet. And you try to get him to knock these trees down. Whether it's with an avalanche or with a toilet seat slam. You want him to knock these trees out of the way so you have an easier time of hitting him um, once we get him stuck. Because that's the that's what we're going to do is get him stuck. And I'm sorry this um, video is pretty long, but there's some like stuff I need to talk about that... You, I don't know. I, put, I tried to speed it up in, in, in parts where it was boring. But um, yeah, try to bait him to knock down these trees if you can without dying. That'd be the first step. If you can't make that happen, just start the fight over. It's early in the fight. You know, we haven't even, we barely got him stuck. He's just now getting stuck. So if he happens to kill us right now, we can always start over. Um, I'm shooting arrows at him. Um, you need the arrows reach talisman and maybe the arrow sting talisman to make this even do anything. And he has such he has so much HP that you couldn't even kill him. if you had a, if you had ma like max arrows. I doubt you could kill him with arrows. And you have to get pretty close to him to do the arrows. But that is a strat you could do if you have poison arrows. By all means, I just I'm playing it blind. So I figured this out all on my own blind. So I do not know where to get poison arrows and how to make poison arrows. So if you know how to do that, it might go a little faster for you. You might not need the jellyfish. But the whole strategy is to poison the giant. He can be poisoned. It does take quite a few hits in a row to poison him and a little bit of RNG. Do you see how I'm baiting his avalanche move? Luckily there, I think I had my mixed physic on, which I could take one hit. So when I said I'd die in one hit, that would be after my mixed physic, if I happen to take it. Otherwise, I do die in one shot. But I wanted to wanted him to knock down those trees, so I used my mixed physic to make sure I could survive that hit. And then I had him uh, knock down those trees. Then I summoned my jellyfish. He is stuck on the edge of that cliff, and he cannot get down. So the jellyfish will now shoot poison at him. And it's all RNG whether you're going to get him poisoned or not, because he needs to be hit like 10 times in a row by the, the jellyfish to get poisoned. And sometimes the jellyfish will dance around, sometimes the jellyfish will move around, he won't shoot back to back to back to back. So it's a little frustrating and it might take you a few tries, or a lot of patience. You could sit here and watch a movie while you do this. You could go out of the room, well, he does, you probably can't go out of the room, but you could sit here and watch a movie on another device while you do this or something, or YouTube, or whatever you're doing. But yeah, you just kind of, the more antsy you get, the more impatient you get, the worse it's going to be for you. Like, it's better to kind of just sit here and let the jellyfish do its work. 
But um, you'll see me, even I, get a little impatient and start firing arrows and stuff like that. But the closer you get, the more he's going to do like the avalanche or the toilet slam, and the more he will either hit you or break out of his, uh, you know, being stuck. So it's best, like, once you get him stuck and once you get the jellyfish a actually firing at him to just kind of stand there and let it happen. Don't uh, get impatient and try to run up on him and do anything extra. But yeah, the way to get him stuck, really, you're going to run to the, you're going to bait him to the top of the arena. And you're going to go to the cliff edge, the actual cliff edge, where you would die, up in the upper right-hand corner of the arena, near the fog, near the cliff edge, where they meet. And then you're going to bait him up there. Once he gets, once he's, like, close enough to where he'll start trying to hit you. It's in two times speed now, by the way, because it's just kind of boring after this. He does, bre he do he'll, bre he'll break out of this, uh, he's not stuck forever. So, there is some more strategy involved than just this, so stay tuned, because he will break free at least once, guaranteed. Because uh, of the cutscene, and we have to do this again, but he will break free um, otherwise as well. So you got to pay attention and know what to do when that happens. But when he's not breaking free, I'm hitting, doing mighty shot. Uh, the the jellyfish is trying to poison him. He hasn't been poisoned once yet. It looks like we're not doing anything to him, but eventually it will happen. <clears throat> but yeah, bait him up in that upper right hand corner where the fog meets the cliff edge, right? And when he's almost close enough to start throwing shots at you is when you'll run along that cliff edge towards this cliff edge that's not an actual instant death when you fall off of it. You kind of jump near the ag the cliff edge where you would die, like where the, the rock is a little bit taller. You want to get him stuck behind where that rock is a little bit taller on the edge. And then you want to, like, stay along the cliff edge as you jump d off that cliff, that little cliff. And that way he's up in the corner against the edge getting stuck against that bigger bigger rock then once he's stuck there you will move where i'm at right now and he will still get stuck because he'll kind of like hump the edge of the cliff and he'll get stuck right there where you see him at the moment so that's where you want to get him right there because if he's behind that bigger outcrop that taller rock on the edge edge then you can't hit him as easy and the jellyfish will just like hit him once every 10 times it shoots and it's not as good so we need him to be getting hit every single time the jellyfish shoots, so we need him on this side of the cliff edge and not the other side. So that's how you get him stuck, and I actually knocked him down there with an arrow, but I run out of arrows. He has so much HP. I don't have poison arrows. I don't have bleed arrows. I don't have fletched arrows. Like, you know, I do what I can here to speed it up, but it's, it's just going to take a long time no matter what you do. But if you do have some arrows and you do have Mighty Shot and you do have Arrows Reach Talisman and you do have Arrow Sting Talisman, by all means, just don't get too close. You have to be pretty far. Like, as soon as it starts registering is about as far, as close as you want to get. You don't really want to be up there super close because then it'll start, you know, even if, you, even if you're good at not getting hit, he will still maybe break out of his, uh, you know, being stuck. Like, the more moves he's doing, the more likely he is to break out of it. So we want to stay out of range of him doing any sort of attack. That way he's not breaking out of this uh, being stuck on the cliff edge. So Jellyfish going to town. I'm shooting arrows. I'm running out of arrows. I don't have fletched arrows now, so I'm trying to hit him with these <laughs> bare-bone fire arrows. And he's a fire giant, so wasn't doing too much. Have we got him poisoned yet? I think we maybe got him poisoned once. That's why he's missing a little chunk of HP. But yeah, that, that jellyfish has to hit him like 10 times in a row. And I don't know. I tried everything. Like, I got close to the jellyfish. I was trying to hit the jellyfish. I was, you know, like, how can I make this thing just shoot? And, and there's no control. You have no control over that. So it's just RNG whether that jellyfish decides to shoot enough times in a row to poison him or not. It will happen eventually. But um, there's nothing you can really do but stand there and wait. And um, at this point, nothing's going to happen. The worst thing that can happen, as long as I don't move or the jellyfish doesn't get too close or, you know, the further, your jellyfish will try to stay near you. So that is why you want to stand as far back as you can. That way it's not floating towards the giant and making it do attacks. So this is about as close as I would recommend is where I'm standing right now. I was just, this was like my 50th try and I was getting impatient and stuff like that. So I'm shooting arrows. But, um... Yeah, you could actually be as far back as you want to be, because the jellyfish can shoot across the whole map. I don't know anything else in the game that has no, like, distance limit on its ranged. The jellyfish has no distance limit on its range. And if I was going to suggest a fix to this uh, glitch, which, you know, that would mean a dev would have to watch my video or something, so I guess... I would say... Psh, I don't even want to know what... I don't even want to say it, but yeah. I would say make the uh, jellyfish have a range with its uh with its poison because at the moment it can shoot 
500 million miles if it wants to. And, uh, you know, so I can't hit him with an arrow, but the jellyfish can hit him with poison. And it just sh can shoot across the whole entire map if it wants to. That and, I guess, fix the, the cliff edge here and make the giant want to jump down more often than it does. Because he doesn't... He's not up there forever. Like, he will definitely break free eventually. But he stays... He gets stuck good enough to where... You don't really have to worry about it, and you can watch something while you do this. But yeah, I'm still shooting arrows. I'm trying to hit his leg, trying to knock him down. Um, the jellyfish is really doing the real work, trying to get him poisoned. And once he gets poisoned, it's much more... It's You don't... He'll it, it, lose way more HP. It'll feel way better once you get him poisoned. Like, he's poisoned right now. Look at that. He's losing a decent chunk of health every second there, every tick. And that feels way better than having the jellyfish sitting there hitting him for 17 while he's not poisoned. But yeah, this is basically the strategy. He start, he'll start doing fire. That's when you want to move further back. Once he, once, once he starts doing fire. So there's that's why I'm showing you this entire fight. Even though I sped up portions of it, there are little things that happen that you need to know. Like what to do when they happen. So like when he starts doing the fire stuff, you want to move all the way back. All the way back. Like, before he does the fire stuff, you can be up there a little bit closer, like I was. But once he starts doing the fire stuff, just move way, way back. Pull back. Because he'll hit you with the fire. He'll hit the jellyfish with the fire. You know, if you lose your jellyfish, you can't resummon your jellyfish as far as I know. Remember, I'm playing this blind. I don't look up anything, so I don't know if you can resummon a jellyfish or not. But I couldn't figure out how to resummon it once it died. I was screwed once it died. There was nothing I could do. You get close and try to shoot magic, he'll hit you. He'll, he'll, break, he'll break out of there. You won't be stuck anymore. Like, it doesn't... Like I said, no matter how good you are at dodging, like, you might as well just fight him straight up if you're that good at dodging. Because the point of this is to get him stuck. And if you're having him do the avalanche and the toilet seat slam and jumping up in the air and stuff, he's gonna get unstuck. So you need to be staying way, way back if you want to do this strat. And I only recommend this strat to people that have tried it 50,000 times and cannot beat it. And you're dying in one hit and stuff like that. And you just want to get it over with and it will take you some time it might take you a week it might take you three tries a day for a week to get this the, the way i'm doing it because it did it took me a little bit little while like once i got my strategy down it probably took me like five days of trying uh, a couple hours a day to finally get this to happen like this wasn't my first try <laughs> i either the jellyfish would die or the trees wouldn't get knocked down or i couldn't get him stuck or he would hit me while i was trying to get him stuck or something would happen to where it just wasn't working out so you gotta make it's gotta be like the perfect storm of everything happening but yeah once you get them stuck and once you're over here it's pretty much just a matter of time and you might get frustrated with your jellyfish for not uh not hitting him enough times in a row and just standing there and dancing around like i was yelling at my jellyfish like come on you stupid jellyfish like shoot 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 that's what i kept saying so now I'm up here with arrows again. I'm the most patient person. And, and you see me even trying to hit him with arrows and stuff. Like, I couldn't take it. I needed to get up there and do something. And I'm sure this is super fun to watch, but hopefully the commentary is, is making up for it. I'm trying to shoot him in his head because, like, the further you are away when you shoot arrows, I feel like you have to hit him in their head to register pretty much any damage. Um, so I was trying to hit him in his head with these lightning arrows. We are about at the end. I think he's about to either break free or we're going to... Something's going to happen here because I got my... Oh, I'm going to speed it up even more. I'm going to go to four times. Looking through my inventory, trying to figure out what I could do to to make this a little bit easier. But yeah, like if you're fighting him regularly... So he, just, he just shot fire and he hit my jellyfish. So that's my cue to get way the F back. But now it's in four times. I'm sorry it looks kind of crazy, but you guys don't want to sit here forever and watch this do you so i got it in four times now and it's just the jellyfish shooting pretty much so i'm standing there i'm not gonna do anything he started shooting fireballs he hit my jellyfish so i am not even gonna move he's stuck the jellyfish is shooting let's just let's just leave it like that let's let's watch something on youtube kind of farting around in my inventory here just looking for something anything that would help me survive a hit or something like that since this fight i've been uh rune farming i found a really good rune farm spot and you no know, it's okay i guess you know like i said i'm playing it blind so i don't know exactly if my rune farms are good but i'm getting like per 
per round trip, I'm getting like 10k, 10k runes. And my other one that I had, I was getting like 3k. And it does take a little bit longer, so it's probably more like 5, 6k around. If you, like, how much time does it take? Like per minute type thing, per second, whatever you want to do. But it's pretty good. It's in the, um, under the capital. There's those big giant dudes. And I get them stuck in this doorway, and there's like four or five of them. Like, if you guys want to see that, put it in the comments, and I'll do a rune farming video. Probably takes me a good two minutes to get, like, 10,000 runes. Something like that. Because you got to kill, like, four or five dudes. And But, yeah. Same old, same old here. Jellyfish shooting. You're hoping that it's shooting back to back to back to back so you can poison him. I tried to count, and it's at least eight to ten times in a row that you got to do to get him poisoned. It's, it almost seems like he can't be poisoned. But you just really have to hit him like a bunch of times in a row. He can be poisoned. So don't think that, oh, they patched it. He can't be poisoned. Uh, yeah, wait till your jellyfish actually shoots like ten times in a row and doesn't just pause and dance around and stuff like that. This is kind of where you want to be when you're getting him stuck on the taller. You see the taller portion of that cliff edge? That's where you want to get him stuck first. That way he's totally humping the edge and stuck. And then, like, you'll move over a little bit and he'll get stuck on that other side. So... But I'm trying to, I don't know if I'm trying to get him to knock down these trees, or if I'm just being impatient, or if I think he's about to break loose or something. I'm trying to shoot magic. Yeah, that's a mistake, because he just can't, the magic just doesn't go far enough. And now he's shooting fire, now he hit my jellyfish again. You see, every time I try to do something like that, he hits my jellyfish. And it's like, okay, well, the jellyfish has more than half of his HP, it'll be okay. But the second phase, the second phase, he does way more fire. He um, doesn't get stuck as easy. Um... You know, there's a cutscene that breaks him free. Like, you don't, you want your jellyfish to have as much HP as possible going into that second phase. Because that's where he's probably going to get hit. So if you get him hit during this phase, that's not, not cool. That's why we wait. That's why we wait to summon the jellyfish until he's completely stuck and the trees are knocked down. That way the jellyfish isn't floating around getting hit before that. But yeah, we're coming up to the cutscene. Uh, at half health, he will... There would be a cutscene, and that's an auto he's going to break free automatically. That was one of the worst parts for me. Like, I figured out the whole strategy. I didn't know there was a cutscene. And then finally I got him to half health, and there was a cutscene. I'm like, oh, no. Like, I wasn't even really watching the screen. I was just... And then all of a sudden there's this cutscene. I'm like, uh-oh. And then he broke free. I was like, no. Just doing the same. We're just waiting for this cutscene now. It isn't four times. Jellyfish still shooting. Me still standing where I'm standing. Just, it's patience. It's a patience game. Big time. Like, I don't even... What if they don't patch this? Because it's you have to have so much patience that barely anybody wants to do this. But I, th I feel like you guys had some interest in the, the Fire Giant. When I did the live stream, I kind of show a more abbreviated version. So if you're already sick of this, you're somehow 18 minutes into the, the, the video. And, um... You're sick of it and you don't want to watch the rest? Well, I did a live stream. Um, I think it was my last live stream. And I explained the strategy in about, you know, less time than this. At the beginning of the live stream, even. So you don't have to watch the entire live stream, either. It's like at the very beginning of the last live stream I did. I forget what I called it. Like, I beat the fire giant or something like that. Because I actually did this before the last live stream. But I wanted to show you the entire fight just to show you exactly how it works. And, you know, I, I, I did speed it up because I know it's pretty pretty much unbearable. It was unbearable me sitting there doing this. So you watching this is probably unbearable as well. But that's why I'm speeding it up. Here comes the cutscene. Ready? It's coming right now. It's back into normal speed. Alright, so this next part's important. He opens his eye. 
And I guess you could hit him in the eye and stuff like that, but I was just like, hey, I made it this far. I'm going to keep going with the way I'm doing it. So he's going to get unstuck. So get it, get away from him, first thing. As far away as you can get, just ride your horse far, far away. He's going to start shooting fire. He's going to start hitting your jellyfish. You don't want that to happen. So just get far away, pretty much where you were shooting from, almost. We're kind of near the entrance where you come in. And we're just kind of baiting him away from the cliff edge because we want to we want to be up there again. We're trying to get him stuck again. So we want to bait him over here. He's unstuck at the moment. So I was really trying to get him stuck right now. Like I was trying to get him stuck if I could. But may, I don't think you can. I think you have to do the whole thing over again. Like you have to go up in the corner. Jellyfish still shooting. Which is okay. But I don't think he's going to get him poisoned unless he's stuck. So don't count on that. This is where your patience definitely comes in. Because you might want to go up to him and start shooting magic at him. You might want to like hit him a couple times. You already made it this far. If you're doing this strat, you might as well continue with it. So run along this cliff edge, kind of towards the entrance. And this is where it gets really dangerous, because he's shooting fire at you. And you can definitely get hit and die in one shot, depending on your build. But run from uh, along the entrance, and then you're running back up towards the upper right near the fog, where you would want to go, where the Sight of Grace ends up being, where the, the chain to the Brazier is and everything. We're going back up here, same spot where we got him stuck the first time. So the upper right-hand corner where the fog meets the cliff edge. Jellyfish is lagging behind a little bit, so remember that. So you really want to be way out ahead of this giant so your jellyfish doesn't get hit too much. So he does a lot more range now. He is on fire. He's shooting fire. Like, you got to be really careful in this phase. So we get him just close enough to where he might start shooting at us. And then we run along this cliff edge to this, this outcropping. Or whatever you want to call it. This bigger rock on the edge of this smaller cliff. Kind of stay right about here. I jumped down a little soon, but it's okay. We got to get that jellyfish out of there. Run along the cliff edge again. You want to get him stuck on that big rock first. Like, I don't know if that's mandatory, but that's what I did. So we'd stand like right about here. And you want him humping that rock. The rock we're looking at. The jellyfish made it down. The jellyfish still has some health. He's starting to shoot fire, so I got scared and I ran a little bit further away along the cliff edge. And as you can see, he's right there, and it's going to look crazy. It's going to look like he isn't stuck. Watch this right here. He will fall down. He's going to fall down. This is not going to be the exact same. He falls down, but he gets stuck right there. Isn't that crazy? Look where he gets stuck. It looks like he's free. It looks like he's not stuck. It's not the same as before. Still the same spot, he just kind of fell down. But he's stuck right there. He fell on, like, that rock or something. Like, his legs are stuck in the cliff. His stomach's stuck on that little rock. I don't know. But he is stuck. And the jellyfish is going to town again. And this, he will break free more often in the second phase. you got to be really careful. you got to pay attention. You can't... Like, the first phase, you can literally not look at the screen and just every once in a while check in on him. But in the second phase, you might want to sit here and watch because... He will break out of that at least once or twice. And you have to get him restuck. And he does all that ranged fire. You gotta be super careful. You gotta make sure you run where I run. You gotta keep the jellyfish. You gotta remember it lags behind. I'm speeding it up again. It's in two times again. We still got a good ten minutes of this fight. But well, we're trying to get him poisoned. We're hoping he doesn't break free. Jellyfish actually doing a little more damage and a little bit easier to get him poisoned. That's the trade-off. Um he breaks free more easy he's a little bit closer and it looks a little crazy that he's stuck like that but the jellyfish seems to get him poisoned easier this portion of the fight goes a little faster it's just more dangerous all right he's breaking free right now i don't know why but eventually he will break free so here he comes you gotta pay attention i'm like oh no he broke free so i'm gonna run along the edge here on the bottom of the map just quickly 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 and it's, it's for you, so you don't get hit, but it's also for your jellyfish, because it lags behind you. You see, I almost got hit there. If I would have got hit, I was dead. One hit, and I'm dead. And that's why I had to do it like this. You know, I could have went and fought other demigods. I could have leveled up. I could have changed my whole build. I was so close to just changing my whole build. Like, I know it's so much easier if you're a bleed build with tons of HP, and you can just smash Estus on your head and chug it every time you get hit. But, um, 
You know, I wanted to go all the way through the game with this sorcery build, this astrologer build, playing it blind, like the hardest I could make it. I, I've played Dark Souls 1, Dark Souls 2, Dark Souls 3, Bloodborne, Sekiro, beat them all. I speedrun Dark Souls 2. I have a bunch of guide videos and stuff if you want to see more from me. I cheese bosses all the time. In this game, I've done it at least three, four times. Like, I cheese the Adronic Sentinel, I think. If you have, I don't know if I made a video off of that, but it's on a live stream. Another mandatory boss you have to fight to make it into the capital. I kind of cheesed him as well. Sorta. Kind of abused his tether. But that's kind of how you cheese, really. You either get something stuck, or you abuse their tether, or you just hit them and, and run away, and come back and hit them and run away and come back, and they reset. Kind of same thing as abusing a tether. But we're just getting him stuck again. If he breaks free, you gotta get him stuck again. You gotta master this, you know, pathing that you're gonna do. We're getting him stuck on that bigger rock. I don't know if that's mandatory, but it just felt mandatory to me. I wanted to get him stuck on that big rock. I wanted him on the very, very edge of that little cliff. I wanted him humping that rock as hard as possible before he started trying to go around the, the whole thing. This time he kind of gets stuck, I think, right there more. Like he doesn't fall down and get stuck. This might even be better can't remember we'll see jellyfish shooting but those trees are kind of in the way so it was a little bit annoying but i was so close this is the closest i'd ever been like i maybe got him to this point one other time maybe and then i died so i was playing it super safe i'm like i'm just gonna st i don't care that the jellyfish sit in the trees you know at the moment i'm just gonna stand here and let this happen we're in times two speed again look how close we got him could you imagine the worst part of doing stuff like this is if you die. You waste all this time. You know, you think Cheezen is like, oh, look at this guy. You know, he's not really fighting him. He, you know, he doesn't have to do anything. You're just waiting for him to die. But the times, the times where I did die and the, the amount of time that I wasted doing this Every time that I did not was not successful is such like I don't even think they should fix this honestly because of the amount of time it took me and the times that I failed and how much time I wasted just to make this happen like I don't know why they would go through the trouble of even fixing it because barely anybody's going to do If you do this let me know in the comments because like I don't know I might be the only person in the world that ever did it like this <laughs> but it's an option and I'm putting it out there, and it is a mandatory boss that's pretty hard. And I'm um, hoping uh, you guys enjoy. Yeah, just shooting that poison. He kind of, I think, is he hitting him right now? Yeah, he's hitting him. You can tell, like, look at it, look at the boss's bar. My jellyfish would hit for 17. And I just wanted to see that 17, like, 10 times in a row. Around 10 times in a row. That would get him poisoned. And he's kind of stuck in a different spot this time, which is what I'm saying. Like, it's not exactly the same every time you get him stuck. And that seems to be, like, a better spot. I think he does break free, though, one more time. Might break free one more time. And that was very butt-clenching. Like, every time I got him stuck, I'm like, okay, we got this. I just have to wait him out. And then he would break free, and I'm like, no, not again. Because that's how I would lose some of the times. He would break free, I would run, run away, he would hit me with some fire... I would die in one hit, or the jellyfish would die, and then I would have to start all over again. And I'm not lying when I say, you know, just to get, just to figure out the strategy, it took me like 50 tries. And then once I figured it out and realized it was going to work, I could even, until it worked all the way, I wasn't even sure it was going to work. Like, I was like, he's going to transform again, he's going to do something, he's going to get unstuck too many times, like, the jellyfish is going to die, like, he's not going to get poisoned. Like, I, I was waiting for the other shoe to drop to me, for me to not be able to get it done. But eventually it did work. And he's shooting, 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 the stupid trees seem to be in the way, so I do move over a little bit, and that's probably what gets him unstuck, is me moving around. But it's like, we gotta get him poisoned. We can't just have the jellyfish shooting the trees. We made it this far. It's like, you wanna be patient, but you also can't... He has to be getting hit. Or else it's never gonna happen. The jellyfish is hitting the tree with every other shot. It's never gonna happen, so... Eventually I think I move, or the giant breaks free or something. We're about to see... 
coming up on a little cut here. Not a cut, but like um, ending the times two. For some reason, which probably means he breaks free. Let's see what he's doing there. He's moving a little different. Here he comes. And just all of a sudden, nothing really happened there. He just all of a sudden breaks free. I didn't move. I didn't do anything. He didn't move. He didn't do anything. The jellyfish was doing the same thing. I don't know why, but he broke free. So we're going to have to get him stuck again. What am I putting on here? I think I'm just putting on the HP. Uh, like when you have full HP, you have more defense thing. Just in case. All right, he's shooting fire. Jellyfish just got hit. That's the danger of him breaking free. That's what I keep saying. If I get hit, one hit, one hit or quitter, I'm dead. And the jellyfish gets hit too many times and dies, there's no way for us to beat him now. So you gotta keep yourself and the jellyfish alive. I was kind of hoping there was like a summon somewhere, like a, you know, like the next fight, the, 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 what's it called? The Godskin Duo? Like that, I could, I went into that fight and it was like, oh, this is doable. And then there was a summon too. And I'm like, okay, I got this. I could summon and there was a summon and, you know, that wasn't too bad. But this one with no summon, it's pretty tough. It's one of the toughest. Like as far as for my build, for my build, this was one of the toughest fights. The other tough fight was the, uh, I forget what it's called. It's in the uh, War Dead Catacombs, the Erd Tree Spirit or whatever it is. It was tough for me because one hit and I'm dead. I couldn't just take a hit and then chug a beer. Shooting fire at me. Kind of drop down and then jump too. You'll get it. You'll figure it out. You can't just like jump crazily off the cliff. Your horse might die. And then you're going to have to consume an Estus to uh, get your horse back. But yeah, he's shooting all kinds of fire. I'm not playing around with that. I'm going to get him stuck and then I'm going to run as far away as I can go. We're super close to the end. Thank you for sticking it, uh, watching and sticking with me here. The uh, the word, the secret word, if you want to make me know that you watched and listened to the whole thing, is booger. So put booger in the chat. Put booger in the comments if you watch this whole thing. All right, getting them stuck one last time. I just need to get them poisoned like one last time, maybe two. There he goes. Here's the traditional getting stuck. For some reason right there it'll look crazy and you'll get nervous but just watch for a second and he can't get out of there he's stuck and that's the best place to get him stuck really the other spot we weren't hitting him as hard we weren't poisoning him as much the trees were in the way and everything so this is the best spot to get him stuck really once he's in second phase and even first phase he's just up a little bit but the edge that edge you would think it would be the other edge because it's like oh he's less likely to get unstuck because there's that taller rock and you know, but you can't hit him as good, so he has to be on this side. You never would have thought, huh? But yeah, we're just trying to get him poisoned. Looks like we got it done. He's poisoned. He's taking damage consistently there. I guess, yeah, the, the ways they could fix this, like, if a dev watched this all the way through, then they deserve it, I guess. Um, jelly, making so the jellyfish can't shoot all the way across the map would fix it. You know, fixing the... Detec hit detection or something on that cliff edge up there, that little cliff. So the giant just falls right down instead of getting stuck would fix it. Um, I don't know. I had another one and I already forgot what it was. Yeah, just get or maybe uh, make it so the giant can't be poisoned. That was the other one. But I don't think they should do that, honestly. If you're watching devs, this took me so many tries and so much time that it's just... Why would you fix this? Like, let people be miserable. Let them, like... This is... You earned it. Like, I earned it. You don't need to fix this. I earned it. Hours and hours and hours and dying so many times. This is not like some crazy cheese that's easy that you're just going to do on your first try. So, there's no need to fix it. There he goes. He's dead. Got him. Legend felled. Remembrance of the fire giant. So, yeah, pretty much jellyfish getting them stuck and poison them. Get those trees out of the way. He's going to break free at least once, but probably more like two or three times. And you're going to have to skirt the edge of the cliffs and stay away and get him stuck again. That's the whole strat. Get him stuck right there. And, uh, you know, don't get hit. Use a jellyfish. Pretty much it. All you need is a jellyfish and a horse. And you got this. 
And uh, the jellyfish, I don't know where you get it. I got it, like, super early. It was, like, one of my first summons. So I'm pretty sure you should have it. And whether you have it leveled or not, probably doesn't matter. You just need to get them poisoned. And jellyfish can poison no matter how... And look how much runes I got, too. Like, 180,000, is that what that says? Pretty small. It either says 150,000 or 180,000. I think it's an 80. 180,000 runes. And your side of grace will be right up here. Just head towards where the fog was. Head towards that brazier up there. We're going to light light yourself up. We're going to light it up. And yeah. But yeah, check out my other videos. Uh, Elden Ring, we're still playing. We're getting towards the end of the game. Astrologer, playing it blind. Sorcery, dying in one hit. It's pretty crazy. I get pretty mad. If you like other From Software games, you know, I kind of semi-speed run Dark Souls 2. I can beat it in under two hours glitchless. I have a whole guide on it. I have a soul farming guide on Dark Souls 2. I have all kinds of cheese videos on all the games. And uh, yeah, check it out. Subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Like, share, subscribe. So you're joining. Helps a lot. Take care about the channel down below. And I'll see you all next time.